work. And it was like towards the end of my shift, so I just pulled it up on my phone and looked at their mobile site. And their mobile site is very well done or whatever. It doesn't look like a desktop version or anything. It's very clear. You can see all the headlines, and all the headlines are very catchy. And they also have a great use of photography and graphics, and they're all very clear. And you can see them really well. They just have a very good front page design. And they also have tons of content that's been posted recently. Like they had at least like six stories posted from the 17th and all of their stories, like every single one of them on the front page was either posted yesterday or the month the day before. So they're very good at keeping their content fresh. All the ones that were at our enrollment, which is like the best of students and beyond. And the ones I really liked were I like the highlight for sure. That was really good visual. And I also like uh, Mansfield Legacies. That was, they had a really clean design. And the biggest thing about them was that they had a lot of updated content. They had a lot of they had a lot of visuals, probably more than we do on our site. You know how we just have one per story. They had tons of stuff everywhere. Uh, one more thing I did notice too for a lot of the different sites is that their polls were more so we're like that can something we can work on is to get more in depth polls on our site. Who else? Who else got to text and look? So one thing I noticed was that many of the websites, they were posting, they, I felt like the ones I looked at, they were posting at the same rate we were, but they had, like Julia said, clear images. And then the content in general of what they're covering, it goes into deeper and more global issues. And I noticed that like something the National or like IOPC likes is when it covers more global topics and then also like more serious topics rather than having like uh, multiple briefs or just sports coverage. Also, their sports coverage was pretty strong as well, and it was pretty similar to ours. But just keep in mind, like content, I like I saw stories that were longer and more that was in depth. Anyone else? It's really important to hear your opinion on this. So. Let's have an non-editor here. Guess it's the leader staff next week. Well, does anybody have an idea for what we could improve on, like specifically? I agree with Alex on the polls. About you know making the polls less uh, kind of just what are you up to and more how are your opinions or what are your opinions on these things and maybe after we have that we could somehow work that into one of the articles even or one of the opinion pieces and actually use that as data for for something like that you know actually make use of it somehow maybe that's good just throwing it out there oh and another thing this was also like taught at like the workshops too if you go to them like when we travel to convention I'm excited. Yeah, sure was they use audio files of some events. So if you can't get a clear video of it, you can also do audio files of it. And also within like the posts themselves, they'll have like pull quotes in different types of media besides photos. You know, going off of that, I think I was looking at some pacemaker winners or just like, I don't know if they were pacemaker winners or just any other news websites in general. But it was one of them where it was after like a big game for the basketball team and one of the interviewer, like one of the interview, they had a clip from it. And it was like the basketball coach like encouraging people to come out and support his team because they were doing really well this season. So if you have like a really good quote that has like clear audio that you can put on your story, that would be an excellent thing to put there so it gives your story some more room. Same motion that the person I've been saying is time in audio files probably a really cool way to get something really passionate or about something or sad or just, just emotion. Um, what I noticed uh, about like certain sites, the ones that are like a really, really hot notch, like, like Pacemaker, is that it's not just about like what's recent, it's just it's consistent. And I think we've gotten better on that, but it's like, I know sometimes for my section, I'd have like four or five days where there'd be nothing, so it'd be four or five days old, you know? And then there's times where there's one, like this week I have one for sure, like day. It's every other day we had new content going in, so it was like a consistent flow, because it's good to like spurt, but you need to be consistent. And um, I've also noticed this too, a lot of the really good sites, I, I don't know why, but I've noticed that they have like recent stories, like top stories, like as a part of the widgets, at least if you use WordPress. So that was something I kind of noticed, which was interesting. Thing before we kind of wrap this up, another thing I noticed is that a lot of the sites they had like a schedule posted of just like upcoming events and stuff like that. And I think that's something that would be really cool to do. So necessarily just write briefs and make stories so that people could just be like quick and like look at what's this week, what's going on. I just want to make one last note that even though the pacemaker competition is over, there's still an opportunity to do well at the best of show that takes place while you're at the NSPA convention. So if that's on your radar or if you're interested in trying to do well on that, then just 
keep up the hard work that y'all been doing, because y'all have been doing a great job, just trying to make it more consistent by posting stories more often and having clearer photos. Rest of the notes. It's like funky because it's not like blown up, it like blows up and you can't see the entire graphic. So we need to find the dimensions of that and like fix that because it also goes hand in hand with clarity. If we don't have like the right dimensions, then what's the point of having a graphic because it's being wasted. So I think we need to find the lovely dimensions and cut it out there so that we can always have it uniform. 